Hi guys, my name is Artem and in this video I'm gonna show you how to build your own CCI rack. So let's using Dynamips and four real switches, let's go to my website CCIE4U.info and as you can see that's the rack that I built. So let me explain. I have four I have three four NIC Ethernet cards. I got D Link 580T, I believe. I got four switches. I got 3550s, but ideally you need two 3550s and two 3560s. I'll get 3560s later. I mean, for a start, it's it's fine. Just play with 3550s. But I, as you can see, I have four serial to USB cables. One, two, one, two and the cable is inside. Let me show you that's how it looks. Uh, I don't have just uh, I just don't have any serial uh, ports so that's why I bought four USB to serial and connect them to Cisco rollover cable and then that those rollover cables uh, you can see them here. Uh, also, I use the program. It's a beautiful program. It's called Serial to Net. If you want to install it, just uh, you gonna, it's going to be Serial. This is the name of the program, and all you need to do in the configs, uh, it's going to be DC. Let me show you. Okay, you need to modify the configs. Uh, I put ports 3001 to 3004, and you can see it's USB 0, 1, 2, and 3. Uh, by default, it's not 0, it's some value, but if you don't want it to like time out after some time, you should put 0 here. All this stuff, all this like a data bits, non stub bit, it's like for Cisco devices, for it works fine. Okay, let me show you. First, let's start the Dynamics. I have two ports, I could use one, it's pretty powerful desktop. So the energy and it's gonna be I mm, Okay, as you can see, they all right now stopped except frame relay switch. You cannot stop it, obviously. Uh, okay, let me and here is a program that I told you. Serial two net. I have this uh, terminator like program which splits the windows in I like four windows for I mean I can see I, I would like to see my real switches at the same time all of them so I do telnet localhost 3001 it's for my USB 0 I'm waiting because my switch obviously is down right now the same 3002 3003 and 3004 and let me turn on my real switches you can hear them Okay, my switches are up. Let's see. It's gonna take uh, some time for real devices to boot up. And while we're doing all this, let's start all these devices. Yeah, and this, this is so fast just because. I believe it's short. Hold on a second. Okay, you can see that the do my real switch has started loading the iOS. Good stuff. Mm. 
Okay, it's one. Okay, this is my box. Uh, four gigs of RAM. I'm the Phenom Core mm, Quad Core 3.4. Um, what else? This stuff is my USB to serial devices. And I believe I have a script Love the dynamics, which is gonna open Nice window, as you can see So I don't have to tell net to every single device Okay, let's give it a second and <coughs> you will be able to see my real neighbor, real switch in Dynamips. Okay, you can see... This is my real device, 3550. Native VLAN, I changed it, I was doing some like laps, so hold on a second. So which one? You can always see that it's real. Serial number, model number, all of this stuff. Oh, you can you can do show inventory. You would see like serial number. So this is a real device. The same on this side. You can see R1 on my FA00. This guy is virtual, 3725. Yeah, it's good stuff. You, you can build your lab just using four real switches and dynamics. That's it, thanks for watching guys, and I'll update... Oh, yeah, don't forget to visit my site. <laughs> uh, cc4u.info You like I put some nice descriptions, how I actually built it, what I bought, how I put everything together, some programs, uh, consoling to a device. Uh, I, this is my configs for that I showed you earlier. Yep, good stuff guys.